What's up everybody? There is this theory that I have had since Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1 early in the season. And I wanted to go ahead and make this video and put it out there before Season 3 drops. And that is that Kane is Ghost James St. Patrick's son. I think I initially actually thought that Cain probably was Kanan's son just because they both are kind of shady and and their names are like Kanan and I know that Cain is not uh, is not Cain's actual birth name but still had his nickname Cain Kanan they kind of sound like they kind of both shady characters play opposition to Tariq and Ghost but after a while I started to think that Cain is actually Ghost's son. So let me break it down why I feel this way. And let me start off with Lorenzo. And I think that he possibly has doubts that Cain is actually his son. So let me say why I feel this. Because Cain is Lorenzo's oldest son. At birth, he gave Cain his own name, Lorenzo. Cain's birth name is Lorenzo Tejada Jr. So he's Cain's his oldest. He has Lorenzo's name. So all things say that Cain should be the heir to the Tejada throne, right? He's the oldest. He has his name. But yet, Lorenzo wanted Drew to be the heir to the Tejada throne. Either though Kane has the street cred, he has the heart for the game, and the street smarts, Lorenzo still chose Drew over Kane to be his heir. Even though Monet told Lorenzo that you're not out here, you don't know these children, that Kane is the one who's meant for the job. I think this was in Ghost episode 103 when Monet was visiting Lorenzo in jail that he told her that Drew is the only choice and he gave some bogus reasons why both neither Diana or Cain could be the heir to the Tejada throne and we know and Monet know that Drew did not really want to be in the streets like that. He was kind of halfway in, halfway out. And there's no such things as being halfway crooks, especially when taking over the family business. You got to be built for the thing. Just like Monet says, Kane is built for this. Now we see once Lorenzo's out of jail, he's trying to like turn Drew into something that he's really not and make it come out of him whatever might be in there come out but drew is was not built for this but yet lorenzo still chose drew so if he doesn't really have doubts i might it might be subconsciously choosing drew instead of kane because you really deep down in your heart know that kane ain't your son and that drew's your only son so you want your real son to be the heir to the throne not your not your pretend son also, going back into Season 1, Lorenzo had Kane jumped by some correctional officers for knocking Monet to the ground. They had, he had about four or five correctional, correctional officers beat down Kane on his way out of the jail. Now, I just ask you the question, is this how you would treat your own child? If Drew had done this to Monet, you think he would have did this to Drew? I'm just asking. I don't know. I mean, he said, don't you ever lay hands on my wife again. And stood over him once Once Cain was beat down, laying on the ground, trying to figure out what just happened. He goes to see and have a talk with his dad and everything seems to be good. Next thing you know, I'm beat down by about four or five correctional officers and my supposed dad is standing over me talking about don't you ever lay hands on my wife again i don't know if that's how you would treat your own child but i mean some people got to go to different links i mean it was a good way to teach him not to put his hands on on his mama no more so i don't know but however that's not how monet would treat her child 
I do know that because this is the giveaway that tells you for sure that Kane is not Lorenzo's son. After Lorenzo had Kane jumped, Monet went into the jail screaming these exact words at Lorenzo. He's mine. Now think about that. He, she didn't say he's ours. He's your son. She didn't say none of that. Why would you treat your son like that? She didn't say none of that. She said, he's mine. Think about that now. That's for sure the giveaway for me that guaranteed Kane ain't Lorenzo's son. Sticking with Monet, Monet knows that Tariq is Kane's brother because she told Diana in Ghost Episode 105 that Kane and Tariq will never get along. Why is it that they will never, they can never get along, but yet Kane can get along with his other half brother, Drew? And that is because both Tariq and Kane are like their dad, in meaning they're selfish in that they only think about themselves. So they need someone who like Drew or like Brayden who's not so selfish of a person who thinks about other people to be their friend or something like that. They can't be, they will never get along because they're both, she's basically saying they're both alphas. They both have to be the top dog. They, they're not going to let someone be over them and that's what we saw with Ghost in Power. That is his whole thing. First he took out Breeze. Then he took out Kanan. Then he took out Lobos because Lobos was wanted too much control. Then he took out Milan. Then he took out Jason Minchin. I mean, he, who would not Ghost take out? Is not that the same way that Kane and Tariq both are? So they will never get alone. And Monet knows how Ghost is. She knew that Kane and Tariq could never get alone. Another thing she told Diana in Ghost episode 202, this is when Monet was celebrating her 22 year anniversary to Lorenzo. And she told Diana these exact words because she saw that Diana was catching feelings for Tariq or she knew that Diana had feelings for Tariq. And she told Diana these words. Having a lover makes you weak, but having a partner makes you strong. Tariq will never be that. He's his own man. Just like Cain. I don't think he, he Cain is his own man. He ain't ever going to be someone's partner. He, he, he might be someone's lover, but he ain't ever going to be, see a woman as a partner. Just like she's trying to say that about Tariq. And she knows from experience that about Ghost. Because, yeah, Ghost ended up marrying Tasha. But why did he marry Tasha? Because she knew too much. That was the primary reason why Ghost married Tasha. Is because she knew too much. And then also she had his, his, ch his children, the twins. But the main reason is because she wouldn't be able to testify against him because she knew too much. So if he broke up with her and they weren't married, he'd be feeling like, man, this girl could go to turn me into the cops because she knows too much. She probably knows about some people he killed and all kinds of stuff. So she knows where the bodies are buried, like Sack said. I think Sack said that. She knows where all the bodies are buried. She might not have been running an organization, but she knows where the bodies are buried. So she knew too much. So that's why Ghost ultimately married her. Because he is his own man. Then that gets me to the similarities between both Ghost and Cain. In Ghost episode 110, Drew tells Cain, you only think about yourself. And what did everybody always say about Ghost? Tasha, Tariq, Kanan, Tommy. I don't know if Angela ever said that. I don't know if she ever believed that about Ghost. I can't remember if she ever said that or not. But I know everybody else who knew him like knew 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 him really 
always said Ghost only thinks about himself. Only thinks about himself. He only works out for the best interest of Ghost. That's what Tasha said. At the end of the day, Ghost was looking out for the best interest of Ghost. And yeah, Drew said that to Kane's face. The only thing about himself. But I'm pretty sure Monet said that. I'm pretty sure, sure Diana has said that. I'm pretty sure most people that know Kane pretty well know that Kane only thinks about himself. Just like his papa, James St. Patrick. They are both snakes. If you have not watched my video on the top five snakes from the Power Universe, they were both on my top five list. Ghost coming in at number one as the biggest snake from the Power Universe. I know y'all might love his character. I love the character too. But you gotta call spade a spade, man. Ghost is a snake. Go back and watch the video if you need all the reasons why I say Ghost is a snake. And Kane came in at number five on the list. Even though we've only had two seasons of Kane Tejada. He came in on number five on my list. Got a lot of similarities. Tariq didn't even come in on my list. Tariq, I don't think see him as a snake. But... Kane is also street smart like his dad. We already know all the moves, the chess moves that Ghost had been playing all, all throughout power. We see Kane with similar strategies like Ghost would have. Like how he robbed the, the coke from Tariq and Brayden and replaced it with sugar so he could become the plug. Like that's that's some moves. That's some next level moves. And then he like like he told Lorenzo, and you think Drew should be running this. You think he's the smart one. And just to throw this in there, we learned in episode 206 that Kane wanted to be a rapper when he was younger. And who else wanted to be a rapper? Yes, it was James St. Patrick. They had a group. Him and Tommy had a little group when they were kids. JSP and Tommy Tom. So, Kane and Ghost wanted to be rappers. Another similarity. Tariq didn't even want to be no rapper. So, honestly, I'm seeing that Kane is more like his dad than even Tariq is. Honestly. That gets me to Kane's appearance. Now I might now, now there might be some dark skin, half black, half Puerto Ricans out there, but honestly, for the most part, I'm pretty sure most half black and half Puerto Ricans look more like Drew than Kane. Not saying that based upon appearance only, that's that's a sole indicator that Kane is not Lorenzo's son, but it is a good indication. And I guarantee Lorenzo, in the back of his mind, whether he wants to admit it or not, he's questioning, is this really my son? If I was a Puerto Rican man, and my son came out even darker than my wife, who happens to be black, I would get a DNA test done. Not saying I don't want this kid to be mine. Not saying I'm not going to... Um, if he is mine, I'm, I'm going to have to take all full responsibility and everything. But I ain't about to get played and take care of some other I'm, some other man's child. Now, if I do that out of my willingness, if I find out this isn't my child and I do this willingly, that's one thing. But you playing me and telling me this is my son when it's really not. No, I'm going to have that DNA test done, baby. We just need to check this out. This this baby ain't coming out what I expected it to look like. And then if I was, and honestly, on the same hand, if I was Kane and I grew up, my daddy a Puerto Rican, man, I'm dark-skinned. I'm going to be thinking, man, I, is this really my dad? Unless there's some kind of, like, birthmark indication that says, like, this runs in the family and this is for sure, we're for sure relatives. they be they going to be having that question. I'm sorry to say that. That's just the facts of life, man. Whether it, whether it could be or not, they gonna both be having these doubts periodically in their mind. Especially Kane gonna be have he he might have blacked out all those doubts his whole life because this man done taking care of him. This who he didn't call dad. But when he got that beat down at that at that jail that day, shit. Any uh any uh doubts he might have had 
came up, I guarantee at that time. Is this really my dad? He probably really thought at this point, he really started probably having questions at that point, for sure. If he if he suppressed them for any for his entire life, he, they weren't suppressed no more. When he got that beat down at that gentleman, Lorenzo stood over him talking about, don't, don't you ever put hands on my wife again. It gets me to, does Monet even have feelings for Lorenzo? Because she was first in love with Mecca and she had the child Zeke Cross then after that she somewhere after that she met Lorenzo and lied to him and said he was her first so she straight up lied to the man she already done had a whole child let alone being her first while he was in jail in season one don't forget that Monet was cheating on Lorenzo with Sergeant Ramirez. Not saying that she won't get in conjugal visits visits at the at the prison, because she sure enough was. But she still felt like she needed to cheat on old boy. Then in season two, Ramirez is Ramirez is dead, but she finds her old lover Mecca. And she starts cheating on Lorenzo with Mecca now. On top of that, she wasn't even happy when Diana got Lorenzo out of jail. She was actually seemed a little disappointed about it. Like she was upset about it. Honestly, that's just my take. She didn't seem happy in my eyes. From my perspective, she didn't seem like she was super excited or happy about Lorenzo getting out of jail. She seemed like she was a little upset about it. Matter of fact, I think she threatened to kill Diana about the money, um, about lying to her or something. I don't know what it was about. But Diana said, I thought you'd be happy I got your husband out of jail. <laughs> but she did say that, she did tell Sergeant Ramirez in season one that Lorenzo's name gets me protection in these streets. So we see why she definitely wants to keep the relationship as less at least as long as she was in the streets, but she didn't have because it when Zeke was planning to make the NBA, Lorenzo was shown up not part of their exit plan. All right. So this gets me to breaking down could Ghost be Kane's dad for real. What was Ghost's love life between Angela and Tasha? Kane is 23 years old. He was born in 1999, meaning Ghost would have been about 19 years old when Kane was born, maybe 18 or 19 when Kane was conceived. Angela left for Choate at 16. So this is a couple years after his relationship with Angela had already been over with. Ghost met Tasha when he was around 21 or 22 years old. Soon after that, he had, he, Tasha got pregnant with Raina and Tariq. So that is a five-year period where go we don't know about Ghost's life. We know he was in the streets. We know around this same age is the same time he killed Breeze. Because around 18, he told Tariq, 18, 17 to 19 years old, I would guess, is when he killed Breeze. Because he told Tariq that he was around your, I was around your age. That's what he told Tariq about when he killed Breeze. When Tariq asked him about it. He told him I was around your age. So we do know he killed Breeze around this time. But we don't know about his love life. Between the ages of 16 to 21. So we can expect that Ghost wasn't celibate for 5 years. We can't expect to him that he was getting around. Because we do know a statement from Rashad Tate. That Rashad Tate made. Once Ghost was dead, that you don't want me to say what I know about James St. Patrick. That he was a murdering drug dealer that effed all around town. So we we don't even know him about him getting all around town like that. 
But <laughs> Tate obviously knew Ghost got around a lot. So what was he doing between 16 to 21 as a young drug dealer coming up? I know what most young drug dealers be doing. They be getting around. So maybe he had a business relationship with Lorenzo and was getting with Monet on the side. Just a theory though. On top of that, Ghost and Monet are both around the same age and they are both from where? Dun, 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 dun. Queens. Same hood, same age. You got to say it, at least these two probably know each other. At very least. Alright, as I'm closing up this video, in the very first episode of Ghost, Ghost episode 101, Tariq told Zeke, I don't got much family. Because Zeke was bragging about this is his auntie and uncles. He got a big family. And really, they're his brothers. But <laughs> brothers and sister and mama. <laughs> but he was talking about his family. Tariq said, I don't got much family. I think that might be, that statement might just happen to be a coincidence that he got a, no, he got a brother, Kane Jahada. Also, as I close this out, episode 210, Cain was willing to kill his own father, Lorenzo, who he thinks is his father, Lorenzo. The only convincing he needed, right, look, check this out. The only convincing he needed to take out his own father was that Tariq killed his father. <laughs> Like, Monet told him Tariq killed his father. You should be able to kill Lorenzo. Like, they really didn't want him. It was a part of a plan. They really didn't want him to kill Lorenzo. But the only convincing he needed to go through with the job, and he was about to shoot Lorenzo until Kane stopped him. The only convincing he needed was that Tariq killed his father. That's that sibling rivalry. They don't, they don't even know their siblings. But that's that sibling rivalry, man. He couldn't let Tariq outdo him. I can't be outdone by Tariq. Tariq killed his father. Shoot. I'm going to kill my father. Man, I can't be outdone by Tariq. And there you have it. Why I think King Tejada is really Ghost James St. Patrick's son. Leave your thoughts in the comments.